everyone and welcome to another episode of the WCG podcast, episode number four. My name is Brendan Scott. His name is Matt White. Uh, on today's episode, we're going to review the second test match. Um, good test match, that one, wasn't it? Wasn't bad at all, well, mate. Wasn't was. bad. Wasn't not bad. For you it was. Um, we're going to look ahead to the third test match. Um, and we're also going to uh, read some of the YouTube comments from the uh, the second test match videos, which are quite interesting. Um all right, well, as we'll review the second test match, uh, unfortunately, from my point of view, uh, Matt's 11 had thumped Brennan's 11 by 10 wickets. Um, in the end, it was a pretty resounding victory. Um, and, it was. And payback uh, for their opening test drubbing, which levels the series at 1-1 and now sends us to a decider where we'll be playing for this bad boy, um, which is in two days' time. Yep, I'm looking forward to it, big time, man, cannot wait, actually, and it's going to be probably, what, 22 degrees, so perfect cricket yeah, weather, actually. Yeah, I think the, the rain has kind of moved away, Yeah, it's it? not, I don't really expect any rain, but it's going to be cold, which is good, so. Win the toss and bowl, huh? Oh, I don't know, well, I don't know, see what happens. What's the pitch like? I need a, I've got bookmakers. Oh, uh, the pitch. I've got bookmakers the after pitch, The pitch is not great after the last two tests because of a uh, new lawnmower that we've uh, got, and it's not quite working the way it is, but yeah. we'll manage, we'll, we'll get it there, so. I, I look. I think it will. It will play pretty decent, but I reckon I, I see some bit of movement with the ball. Yeah, a bit I think of deviation. So, so. I'm ha I have to hold my mic today because this idiot forgot <clears> the the stand where the that's called Brendan the boom arm. Me. <laughs> the boom arm. Um, I could have easily swapped it up. Yeah. This, but I'm a, I'm a gracious host. Um, so I'll just yeah. put a trophy if you want. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad idea. Could have around there. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll go over the second test match. Brendan's eleven uh, won the toss. Uh, sorry, did we? Yeah, yeah we, won the, the toss, we won the yeah. toss and we batted. Um, we were bowled out for 95 in the first innings. Uh, Brennan Scott, 36. Gavin Merrifield, 24. Joel Wojcik, 30, uh, 3 for 27 on debut. Um, then Max 11, in probably one of the most interesting innings we've had at the WCG for a long time, responded mm, with 151. Uh, Joel Wojcik on debut, making 60. Uh, Daniel Arnold, 32. Uh, Justin Brook bowling well with 2 for 6. Um, in reply, we trailed, what did we trail by? 56 on the first innings. Uh, we could only manage 72. Uh, Justin Brook top scoring with 24. George Pineros with 17. Matt White, three for one in a barnstorming smell, uh, smell and spell. They got him <laughs> off, that uh, got him off to a, um, or got us off to a stinker, all right? Yeah, but um, got them off to the, uh, the start they needed. And we literally <clears> couldn't <throat> wrestle it back from there, we, which means we only set... Uh, Matt's 11, 17 for victory, and Daniel Arnold knocked that off himself. So, a victory by 10 wickets, uh, a pretty resounding victory, you've got to say. It's, it's, it pretty much mirrors the first test victory. Both teams have had one thumping each as we move into the cider. Maddie, what were your what were your thoughts um, on that second test match? You'd well, have to be happy with the, the response. Definitely happy with the response, and people sort of understood that um, we can't be going to the pub at five, uh, getting home from the pub at 5am yeah, and turning up to 3, a, are three right. to 5 yeah so look the boys weren't actually happy with their, their own efforts and they they turned up and they, they, they all, we all stuck together we had a game plan and it, it, it come off pretty well well actually. I noticed um, I noticed that when I got off to that good start um, you know not, no, no week for 41 mm. you, know, you could be forgiven for thinking oh no here we go again it's, you know it could be in a well, bit then, of yeah, I dropped you yeah Oh, you did too—an absolute mm. soda. But hey, yeah, soda. But I did. I got to, you got to see it first to catch it. It's like <laughs> it's open your eyes, maybe next. Well, time. yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting it actually, so I wasn't looking. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, I, I noticed throughout that, even through that period, that you guys mm. didn't drop your head. I think you were no, definitely. And I think there's this, and there's a bit of it. That's heading into this third test match. That's something that we have to kind of overcome. Mm. And there's a, there's a, there's not. It's not a misconception. There's actually, it's a feeling that once you get me out then it, you have the opportunity to run through pretty quickly. Well, we would that be, we, some, would, that be, would well, that be accurate? Yeah, that is very accurate. And we have good plans for every part of your team now. We have certain bowls are going to be bowling to that person and da 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 if, we can, if it can works out that way. What are some of those? Uh, okay, you'll see on Saturday. Come on, the fans want to know, mate. The fans, well, the fans will see when uh, we win, you know. So I did say 2-1, so... Confident. You'll be, if, you, if Mats 11 do win, they'll become the first side to ever lose the first test match of a series and go on to win the series. So that's history in the making for them. Yeah. They certainly do carry the momentum into this um, third test match. Um, 
some key moments, as I've just alluded to before, I didn't go on with that start. I should have gone on with that start. I was oh, 36 not out, not for 41. And then from there, you know, with North for 41, bowled out for 95. Yeah, yeah you, know. you know, look, when you're in your 30s and 40s, you should go on with it, but that's the times you, you can get out too. Yeah. A lot of players do get out of that, that, you know. But that's we have a certain way we want to bowl to you, you know, and we've discussed that in length. Uh, what, right. half volley? It was a half volley that I hit straight to Schaefer. No, it was a certain, look, that was half, not exactly how half it was. Half volley straight to Schaefer. That was not good, exactly how good, it was. Good snare. But yet again, um... You know, hit, use your strength, use your strengths too to get you out. So, yeah, well, you know, it works I both think, ways. So I think there was a bit of complacency yeah. as well. I've got to admit, I was pretty. Um, after you, you could see it creeping in as I played yeah. at you where I shouldn't have and gave you a chance. Yeah. And then, well, the first one you knew about is when you go, oh no, <laughs> then I looked up and it was already on me. It's, it's like time standing still. <laughs> it's just like no, it's like um, oh wow, okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but that was a good catch from Shafe. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, he it was made like, it look easy, didn't he? Yeah, look, it was only about what. 100 mil, 200 mils off the deck, and there yeah, he just snapped. snapped to be, it, so to be fair, I did hit it. I hit oh, it well. He smashed it. Yeah, Harry bowled it quick. I hit it well, and ha Shave mm. just caught it like it was breakfast. Well, yeah, it just <laughs> snapped it. It just, up, made, so it, like, it just made it look it. simple. And from that moment on, mm. we started to dive. Well, it's a sort of it was a good omen for us in the sense where I dropped you. You didn't score any more runs. Mm. We got you out, and then your team was gone. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I think. We, it, it, we went on a bit of a slide until Gavin Merrifield mm. was able to make 24. Mm. Well, Gavin's always get us, dangerous. Get us, get us towards that 100 mark. So I think that 90, getting to 95, it's under, it's under par. It's mm. obviously under par, but you're still around that 100 mark. So we were pretty, yeah. you know, from where from where we ended up at five foot, we ended up sliding to about five for 50. Yeah, that's right. Take, yeah. take 95. Mm. But you're right, Gav has a has a history of uh, saving the day for Brennan's 11 mm. and he pretty much did it again. Well, the Gav's a very handy batter, you know, five and six, and he's always renowned to score his 20s, 30s, 40s, you know what I mean? So that's that's what you need from them players. Yeah, I don't know why he's worried about the pepper. The pepper. He seems to be doing okay with the pepper. pepper yeah, well, you know, he was a good, some really good cover drives in the square cut or two. Like, well, having you, said that, watching did, that though? having said that, all 24 of those runs did come off two well basher Overs. Yeah, well, so you know, I think, but that's 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 the idea of the game too. You, like you know us, we know you. We know who not to score. We know who we can't. Who you target? Who you don't? Exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. okay, if you get a four or a few, that's a good over. I mean, you know, but if you get fifteen or eighteen or, or you know like that off one of your lesser bowlers, that's how we pick. That's yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, one of the great overs was Nathan Hancock bowling to Gavin Merrifield that over mm. where it was two of the un two of the unlucky bowlers bowling to each well, other, and it was just. Colossal. Look, put it this way. I'm not having a prediction, but if Nathan doesn't take a lot of wickets in this next test, I'll be stunned. Because we've been working hard with him in the nets. and He just, he just moves too much. Yeah, we've, look, we've done a lot of things with him, and he's shown him some hell of a lot of new skills. And basically, he like is... What? No, I ain't telling you. You're going to see on game day, but I will give you a warning. He has ripped through every one of us at training. No, well, that's not hard. No, that is hard. That's Trust me, some very good bats. Yeah, no, one, good. one man. Yeah, one man no, no, the, the, yeah, One the, man saved. Look, the style of the balls was just unbelievable. And, it, and everyone just looked at each other and just gone, did, did that just happen? The best way to the best way to um, look at Nathan when in the in the with all the footage mm. from the stump cam, yeah. it just moves too much. Uh, oh, no, if you're good enough to nick it, mm. you're in form. Oh, 100%. But, because it swings but and we've got, some, we've, got something, we've got something to counteract that. Pacific thing, yeah, and he's also learnt a couple of new balls, which are very good. What do you got a remote control where the bail comes off? No, I think he has actually. <laughs> <laughs> just the way he's bowling in the nets, it's just unplayable. Oh, it's um, unplayable. Well, look, and the way he, the look, way he's bowling on on, he's on the full, weekends is unplayable. Yeah, anyway, he's full so. of confidence now, and he's he's he was he's been upset that he's not getting wickets. Because he's yeah, but he's because he's young. He doesn't understand. Your so time will come. It is criminal. Yeah. Yeah. It is absolutely criminal that Nathan Hancock mm. has zero, zero wickets wicket. for the series. Mm. That is criminal. But I reckon there's actually zero hits on him too because he can't even touch him. <laughs> actually, I'd like to see this. I think I've got him away for a couple of bands. Yeah. I'd like to see if anyone else has though. Yeah. I might have to bring that stat up maybe. But look, I expect big things from Nathan, and we've had a good chat. He's actually at schoolies. Having a good time this week. Yeah, get home so, safe. Actually, right. no. Bring Daniel home safe. You go missing. <laughs> You'll be right. You mate. go missing. <laughs> he's ready. He's ready to tease apart. That's all I can say. Um, then when you guys opened, mm. moving Coco Daniel Arnold for those well, playing was, at home up cool. to opener. That 
that worked. Mm. Thirty two. Well, it's always um, good to have a person. Set the platform. Well, it's always have to good, have a person that wants to open. Yeah. Like if you go, like you know, mate, who wants to open? And everyone's got got their yeah. head down. He's like, yes, I want to open. Give it a year. I'm doing this. Experience. It's, well, it's just experience. It, it? it gives you a lot more better opportunity to succeed. You know what yeah. I mean? With that attitude. You know what yeah. I mean? And he's loving it. He just goes, "This is my spot." He's actually well, he proved, yeah, it, proved correct, yeah. wasn't it? And he's, and he's even said in the nets, he's, and the nets he's always been doing is 15, 20 balls, mm. smashing them. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm ready to go. Oh, he's mm. ready. Now, uh, well, look, if, look, that's that was probably one of the better starts um, that I've seen from an opposition. Well, oh, definitely. Quite definitely. Some time. Well, look, I was quite happy with it, and it was an unlucky way he got out, but he learned from the mistake of trying to smash a bowl out of the park. That's, yeah. that's, that's, I mean, that's once you've done, you do the hard work, and that's then right. your eyes light up when Todd Look, he was disappointed. Like, he, did, he was very disappointed to get a 50, so. Yeah. Yeah. He finished. He, well, he made thirty-two, and then there was an interesting passage of play from uh, probably uh, towards stumps on day one and the first session of day two, um, where we were able to get Coco out, and then it it almost was the, the same thing that happened in our innings. We kind of went bang, 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 bang. Mm. Ravi bowled you with an absolute seed. Well, one of the balls of the series, that one. Look, it was a good ball, and then that's, that's cricket. That's the way it is. So. You've got to cop it you know, sweet, you know, sweet, that's all right. And then um, we're able to get, uh, was it Harry? Harry's got to be unhappy with that one. He just literally, the softest dismissal. So um, Harry's problem is he's too worried about like we straight. got him, mate. We he's, got Harry. Don't worry yeah. about that. He's finished. He's traumatized. Yeah. No, Harry's all good, mate. Traumatized. Trust me. Harry's all good. But what Harry's problem is is um, there's no net on his side of the, his his side of the fence where his cover drives go. So he's very uh, tentative mm. about that. You know what I mean? So yeah, I I, I, I can see that. I mean, the, the fence is closer, no. so it's it's yeah, it's like and he's got it's, and he's only got the half the height. Yeah, so well, look, it, that's yeah. his fault for being left-handed. Like, well, grow up. But we'll, we Who's fix, left-handed? We'll, we'll fix that next year for him. <laughs> yeah, we'll fix it next year. We'll make him right-handed. No. <laughs> he, has, he has to grow up. But he actually bowls right-handed and bats left, so there you go. Left-handed and bats. <laughs> that's a disgrace. Well, look um, at Nathan bowls left-handed and bats right, so... Yeah, well, mm. I can give you left-handed <laughs> bowling, but left-handed batsman, just disgusting. Yeah. Um, you, so, yeah... You heard that of here, Harry, so make sure you score a ton next game, mate. Yeah, he scores of... Eight, nine, and seven. Yeah, well, uh, eight, nine, and one. I think eight, yeah. nine, and one. Look, he's he's so, finding he's finding Test cricket a little bit. Um, how would I say it? Not what he thought. Um, he's maybe. Are you saying he's not as good as what? what no, you he's definitely as good. But he's <laughs> he's played he played the twenty twenty, and he thought, okay, this is easy. But then Test cricket in the backyard is a whole different thing. Yeah, I yeah. think. Look, hopefully he continues the failings, but we all know his class. So well, he's, he's, coming, he's look. He's due. His time has come. His time will come. He's due. Um, and. So from that period, Michael Johnson came to the crease at four for forty odd, and then talk us through one of the greatest catches in the history of the WCG. Todd bowls this beautiful long hop <laughs> that should have been a wide. And, and <laughs> well, you going, could just was see, a wide. I could just see it yeah. was wide, and Johnson yeah. was just winding up. So I kind of almost preempted mm. just going this way for just. Well, you sort you of don't well, expect. We you don't expect to. I was there. I was behind the. The bowler. I was sitting behind the bowler up in the stand. Talk us through what you saw. And one of the greatest moments. So ever. Todd comes in, short hopper, and it's gone crack. I heard the crack off the bat, and see so you actually sort of preempted, but that was a good. It was a great catch. I'll give you that. Snare. And look, the other day it's earned the six hundred odd thousand views um, in on two pages only. I'm just so, I'm just box office. Yeah, but look, the, I'm just box office. If you won't be box office after this weekend, <laughs> as the polls say, is it was a sixty forty. I never believe the polls. Didn't you do a, uh, yeah, the Instagram? Instagram yeah. polls, six Never believe believed. the polls, mate. Polls always lie. Well, in <laughs> recent times they do. In recent times they do, but we'll see. We'll That's see. It. But that that was almost the period of the match where it changed because, well, Nathan Hancock come up in after that. Juzzo went right through mm. him, and then a certain Joel Wojcik walked to the crease. And you can forget about the catch now because that was probably one of the better innings we've seen at the WCG for a long time. Well, look, look, if Joel doesn't make that innings, if just if Joel gets out cheaply, yeah. it's seven for fifty, yeah. and we're right, right on in top. It. And yeah, you, you, we could have maybe got close to your score. Where we would have been twenty five down, thirty yeah. down. And you know what I mean? it's a different so, ball game. It's a different ball game. And that, but not just the the importance of that knock, but the yeah. way he went about it, it was just all class. That's it oh, was just 100%. it was just majestic. To be fair, it was it was good to watch out there. Well, look, it was. I said to him, uh, I, I said to him, like, fucking hot. I said to him, <laughs> where do you want to bat? He's like. Oh, okay. Well, look, I'm not really sure. I said, how about four or five? He goes, yeah, we'll do that. Say five. And then he's like, 
Yeah, you've got a bit nervous. Like, yeah, you've got a bit, a bit nervous, nervous watching all the wickets start to fall. No, oh, so just actually watching the first balls, he's like, come up to me. He said, look, I just want to watch this. I said, yeah, that's fine, man. I said, look, that's what I expected anyway. Yeah. So I said, we have our six. Uh, good for you. He goes, yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. So we'll actually probably keep him at six again. He actually likes that position. Had to, to have a really good bat at that end of the, at the, the bottom end of the... Um, the scale basically, yeah. or the bottom of the innings, is a is a big bonus. It's not not mm. not bad coming at six, but yeah. what a cat sending in the seventeen year old ahead of him. Yeah. But it proved to work. Yeah, proved to uh, well, yeah, actually, he was supposed to, he's actually supposed to go in before Nate, but yeah, then and he, and he, he cut it, and he didn't want to. But that cut it. But yeah, hey, it worked in the end. All yeah. is well that ends well. That's it. Um, so that knock, uh, and then after that, that yeah. gave if if we get Joel early and then Steps and that come in, the mm. pressure's on. They went in with a lead, and those runs at the end from firstly Steps, mm. who made 17, and then Hamid, who made 17, just really took the game away from us. They took what could have been just a just 15, over, just 15 over. 20 run yeah. lead into a 50 odd run lead. That's right. And then. And we talked about this that, in training. Like, you no, know, scoreboard pressure in the end. Yeah. It told. We talked. We looked, We talked about this at training, especially for our batting wise. Like our top order didn't succeed to, uh, last game. That's the way cricket works. You know what yeah. I mean? But we always talked about that everyone needs to try and score their runs, especially the last uh, three to four batsmen. Your goal is ten first. Yeah. And if you can get the ten, get the fifteen. You get the fifteen, you get the twenty. And if you three of yours out of the four can do that, there's there's yeah. you know, fifty. 40 to 60 runs. Yeah, exactly. Which is, which, uh, well, it was very handy. Well, it was the perfect, it was pretty mm. much the perfect innings from your point of view because you had a great start. Okay, you wobbled, but one of your middle orders stood up yeah. and then your bottom order and wagged, the, the, the tail yeah. wagged, and all of a sudden you've got 150. That's right. Um, and, you know, 56 run lead. As we headed into the second innings, now the, one of the controversial moments of that was putting myself um, last. Now, some of the newer fans that might not have um, that might have only jumped on board after the New Zealand series, which, which a lot of you have, not, not would not have known that I've, I do that on regular occasion Push at work. <laughs> but this time it did no, not. It did not. Um, the reason why I do it is because I back myself as the better as the best player on the side to be able to sum but up what the situation. pressure is. The pressure is on you greatly. At uh, what was the score at that time? Nine for seventeen. Well, effectively, not yeah, sixteen. Not, effectively, not sixteen. Yeah. So, um, so I mean, it's the pressure's, one of those... the pressure's probably uh, too much for you. But if we we discussed it in length too, what you did, and we thought if you opened and got got to even just got to our total of yeah. the runs difference, then your team could go on to score uh, eighty. Well, to, it's one of eighty to hundred. It's one of those ones where the pre you either you try to um, take the pressure off the rest of your side. So, how do you do it? Mm. Do you open? Yeah. And confidence, risk, confidence and is risk. always good. If, if I get, if I get, if I get, yeah. um, you have, you have, so you got to have ability. You got to have uh, confidence in your team, which is sometimes uh, we see that you don't. In the sense where, okay, you don't. I want to go first, and you score the runs, and you back your team to score another hundred. All of us, we all back each other to to do what to score runs. Doesn't matter if you don't score runs, someone else is going to try and pick it up for you. Well, that's what you happened I mean? in your innings, but yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, but I think, as I said to you at the end of the night, I thought that was the biggest decision in the second part of the game that that lost you the game. Well, it's woulda, coulda, shoulda, isn't mm. it? I yeah. mean, you either I either open if I get if I got off to a great start, then sweet, it would have set it up for the rest of us, no yeah, pressure. That's right. If I get out, yeah, then all of a sudden, all oh, right, Brendan's mm. gone. Mm. We don't have to worry about him. Mm. We can go right through him now. I mean, look, Whereas, day, if you're last, yeah. if I bat last, then all you can mm. go through who we ever we want. That's but right. In their minds, in your minds, mm. it's still, I'm still to come. Mm. So we okay, talk, run through it, yeah. and, you know. But our half, look, look, our, our half time, or well, our chat before uh, you usually went to bat, we found out that you were going to go last. And I said to the boys, I said, here's our chance right now. I said, we can basically get them down to uh, nine for nothing, which was, that, which was which not pretty much off. what happened. Right. Just, I said, it's all ours. I said, the pressure will be too much. Bang, he'll try. He's, got to, he's got to score runs to try and make a total so we have opportunities. Yeah. So, um, Jazzo top scored with 24. He hit Joel Wodgick for five consecutive boundaries in one over. And then got a long hop from Hamid and put it over the fence. That was the most dis. That's well, that was probably that was it's, the a, worst it's, a, it's a YouTube comment that will come up. <laughs> it's a YouTube <laughs> comment that will come up later. That was like Ivan Lendl. But yeah, it was just <laughs> the, we got it. Look, as much, as well as you guys did bowl, mm. there were a couple of like, for instance, uh, Jose got out hitting Hamid over the fence. Yeah. George, who top uh, to second top score with seventeen, yeah. 
hit Mark Pastafield over the fence after mm, yeah. getting trigger happy after hitting two consecutive sixes. That's right. Look, it's well, we use the mark to our advantage too, you know. Like, we, we, we know where to put in now, and and that's basically we only have one bowler that you can still target, yeah. Because he's basically he's and he's bowling really well in the nets, and he's changed we've changed a lot about how he's doing things, and he's actually bowling really well. So, Mark Pastorfield from the start of the comp to the end of the comp is going to be a big difference in his bowling. He's a leading wicket taker, look, yeah. he still bowls pies, he bowls pies that yeah. have been in the good area, have been in the good area yeah. consistently. This yeah. Um, this series, I will give him that, but they're still pies, Mark. But well, Mark, it's just, hey, this is how cricket. I said to you yesterday, buddy, now's the time to prove it, mate. He dropped you. Remember, he dropped you. Uh, you never went, you yeah, never went Rightfully away, mate. so. <laughs> rightfully so. Because you burgled five wickets doesn't change that I was right about that. Point. All you have to do is beat him in the leading wicket taker, mate. Well, all I'll tell you what, if he gets another couple of wickets, well, we, if he gets another couple of wickets well, and tops. We're, down, uh, okay, we're back in three for him, the way he's bowling now, and where we're going to bowl him, and how we're going to bowl him. I'm back in three to four for the match. Three. You're joking. Three. You've had, how many yeah. beers you had? Three. You've had 74. No. Nah. Good kidding. Because trust me, he's bowling it the whole different way now. So, look, it can, it can, it can work, not work. And then I see. I think most of his wickets are us trying to whack the well, cover off it and either hit it over the fence or. Well, that's the idea of it. That's a, you can just hear the cries on the videos as well. Shit gets wicked. So yeah. even your own teammates know it's rubbish. But that's right. That's, but that's hey, the idea of it. That's, that's why it's standing. Shit gets we wicked. Know, that's we, why. Know, we know whose eyes light up and who's going to try and smack that boy. And then, you know how hard it is to keep it in the back out. Well, that's why Pastor Field's... Um, that's why Pastorfield gets has five wickets and Nathan has zero because that's she right. gets wickets and unfortunately the good bowlers sometimes. <laughs> but I've got five myself, so I don't know. Does that mean I'm shit? Yeah, we well, yeah, are shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, your bowling performance as well to get years off to a good start. You took three for one in that in that uh, well, second I, innings, yeah. and you got you who opened. You got Nathan, you, you got Daniel, and you got uh, uh, Pete, Pete, Pete in second. That mm. that rallied your trip. You could see your boys were really up for it. Yeah, that's, it. You know, and look, I, I, I knew we needed it. Um, we had to get off to a good start, and double wicket over was was the start that we needed. So, and then everyone was just looking at each other, talking in the huddle, just going, "Let's go, let's just run through these boys." Well, yeah. So, and that's yeah. exactly what you end up doing. Yeah. Um, run through us. I'll get it for a duck, which meant we'll bowl it for seventy two, and yeah. then uh, you only needed seventeen. Um, we'll have a look at the YouTube comments from that back end of the. Uh, play towards the end because I'll come in for particular criticism. Yeah. Um, but Daniel Arnold, 15 not out, did it in a, in a canter mm. and he's won by 10 wickets. Um, good for him to finish not out as well again. So that was, he made 47 runs for the test match, um, only dismissed once. So, well, it's, it's amazing in the sense where the first game was a, was a smashing to use, second game was a smashing to use, and that has never happened. Well, I think it's never happened in. in the same way, basically, test uh, yeah. after his test ever. Since well, I think both both sides have firepower. So if it yeah, goes, 100%. if it goes, if this if it goes right for one side on the day, they've got the ability to blow the other side out of the park. We've just, we just witnessed that. Mm. So you know what's going to happen in this third test? It's going to be an absolute nail bite. I reckon well, it's got to be. It can't be another thrashing. Can that's it? what I. That's what I'm sort of predicting. That's what I'm telling my boys. I said nothing's going to come easy in this game, and don't, do not expect. To ha uh, what happened last time to happen again? If it does, great for us. If it if it doesn't, we're prepared for it. I can't wait. I oh, can't wait. I can't wait. It's, it's two days from wait. now. It, it is probably well at least if you were, if you um, count the New Zealand series, obviously it was a massive occasion for us. Um, it's been probably a few years since we've had an occasion at the WCG domestically, at least like that's this. Like, well, yeah, Rasi got belted twice three 0 yeah, that's all right. He's bad, bad baby. Don't worry. Yeah, he's the bad. vice skipper. Yeah. The vice skipper will be drinking out of this bad boy no, on that Saturday night. He'll, not, he'll not be doing nothing. Um, <laughs> redemption, mate. Redemption. Yeah, right, yeah right. look, it's everyone's right. buzzing as you can imagine. The fans are buzzing. We, you know, we just can't wait, and neither can you. The first video. Look, the first video. We'll get. We'll get the videos out as quick as possible. Look, as quick as possible. No quality. Um, uh, Diminished, uh, whatever. We we'll just get them out as quick as we can. I'd say probably Wednesday or Thursday the following week, um, and then a steady stream from there, as it was for the second test match. Um, all right, we'll look ahead to the third test match. Uh, now there, I'm going to try and press Matt on this. There is a injury cloud for Ryan Schaefer. Ryan Schaefer has something wrong with his Gary has Jack. Back, has a back strain. Um, he just got married, so that possibly could be what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. But um, is he going to be right for that? Yes, he's uh, confirmed fit. 
He's confirmed fit. He's confirmed fit. No, he's ready to play. That's not what he told me today. So what is a line? Well, that's not what he told me today. Yeah, well, okay. So, well, Smoke and mirrors. That's fine. Yeah. You can expect that. But, um, uh, good. I hope he. I hope he plays because he's made fuck all runs and mm. taken fuck all wickets. Well, he's actually. So, yeah, he's quite keen. Can feel that. Quite keen. Don't to, hit it too much. Quite keen to um, uh, change that. So yeah, he's quite keen to knock my head off. I'm pretty sure mm. and shut me up. But he ain't gonna do it. Um, so look, our lineup. Uh, Clinton Cowan is omitted from the squad. Um, he can focus more on now that the restrictions have uh, expanded in New South Wales for the amount of people you can have in one property. Um, he will just go straight to the filming and bring you some cutting edge footage. Um, so Troy, Troy Hayden, his first appearance uh, for Brandon's Eleven in some two years. Uh, he comes in uh, to the lineup for the decider. What do you make of that one? He's gonna feel the heat, let me tell you. Me and him have been. Oh, me and him played three times together in yeah. chess. One or three. Yeah, well, yeah, you can't Is win them all. Is it going to be four from four? You can't win them all, I guarantee you. It ain't going to be this one. Four from four. I don't think so. Train well, the big fella. Yeah, but you know, he's put your on a bowl, few. Your bowling and our bowling's a bit different, so. Yeah. yeah. Hang on, we've. I think we've we've probably been both bowling attacks no, look, have been on, pretty on good. Paper, on like on paper wise, do you know what I mean? Like, you, yeah. Like Mark Bass good has five wickets. Yeah, we've got more on sharp paper. bowlers than than you have. You know what I mean? So. Is after after two years out and not actually playing on the new surface like how we've done it in the last two years, you might because the last time he played was on the green. Well, the last hey, the last bloke who's come in after a spell was Joel Wodzik, and look at how he went. Yeah, well, Joel Charles played great and all the rest of it, you know. So Charles played harder. <laughs> <laughs> um, how's uh, how are your boys prepped? Ready to go. Yeah, how's go, your mate. how's your how your training sessions been? Um, yeah, beautiful. Had a week off after the win. Um, had two training sessions after that. All the boys basically there that, that, that can make it. Obviously, yeah. work commitments. Uh, the bowling has just been absolute unbelievable. And some people's batting is just like, yeah, 20 balls, I'm over it. That's it. Um, yeah. Complacency. Not complacency. Complacency just screws. Hitting them, hitting complacency them. just sneaking its way in, oh, is shit, it? No, no. no. Uh, well, just, just the way it is. They're just, you know, feeling really comfortable and hitting them out of the middle, just bang, 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 bang. It's just like, mate, that looks impressive, mate. So, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking Daniel, uh, Daniel Arnold's going to Photoshop this, I can see. No, no, definitely. That's no, not actually, it's quite a few, few of the boys. So, I'm quite happy with it, actually. And our bowling, look, honestly, our bowling is, is right on mark. We were all concentrated on, look, last time we were a little bit off the stump still, we were just concentrating on more this time, direct wicket to wicket. All right, who's your, who's your form player, or your players? Who's, well, who's, yeah, who, 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 are you, who are you expecting, oh, I'd say, I'll rephrase the question, who are you expecting to have big matches for you? Well, who's who's okay. going to stand up in this well, decider? The whole team, the whole team's ready to go. Um, but if you want to have individuals, especially the people from last, like, Nathan, Nathan's just buzzing, he's keen as, he's ready to go. He'll take zero wickets. He's, oh, just well, does too much. But does we, too much. Uh, we've taught him some different things on how to do and it. Over steps, and, and, I, and when he doesn't do too much and hits the stumps, he, it's a no ball. Oh, but you're going to find out what we've done, mate. So, and I'm seriously impressed. And, but I hope all, you've told him to bowl with a full tape ball. Oh, no. That's what I really hope oh, you've Oh, no, done. that hasn't <laughs> happened at all, trust me. And we've, we've ironed these little problems out of swinging too much. We've got that down pat now. He understands all, the, all about that. So... Um, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to what he can do. Daniel Arnold, keen as, ready to kill you. Um, wants to kill us? Just wants the smashes around the park, basically. Like Good. This. Yeah. Good, come out swinging. So, no, he won't come out swinging. He's just going to play a, he's gonna play a nice, easy game and, and just uh, punishes when you, when it's needed. So, But then, um, you can, you know, Mark, Marky Pastor feels really keen. <laughs> like, I know you say Marky say shit, and uh, obviously not... Your he's team like, says he's shit. He's not one of the best players, obviously, in the team. But shit, he's just, he's, 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 but he's, um, the way he is for the team is, is really great. And he was... I really, am happy for he him. He actually had us in stitches the other day, talking about you, um, all these things, what going on, and it's like... Don't worry, Mark. We'll sort this out for you, mate. He goes, nah, don't worry. You know what he said? He goes, don't worry. I'll sort it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that cute, Mark. So that's yeah, cute. You'll be right, Marky. You know what to do, brother. That's so cute. But yeah, so we got to we got a little bit. Maybe probably have a little bit of a different bowling line at this this time too, round. Yeah, um, yeah. Changing a few things maybe around. So see what happens. Yeah, good. Mm. All right. So for us. Um, we trained well. We've had a couple of uh, couple of sessions this week. We had a Monday, Wednesday session. Um, I think we did. We probably had it similar to you guys when you guys got thumped. You told the boys, "Look away, mm. forget about cricket, and come right. back." Pretty similar to what we did. We just said, "Right, well, and on the week, 
on the week off over a couple of sessions. Yeah. From our point of view, it was there were two parts. I was um, I was unhappy with the fact I couldn't go on with that start. 36, you should be going on with it and setting the side up. It didn't happen. And then, obviously, uh, when Joel... Well, did, what, you know, when Joel came in and made those runs, did were there were there field placements, were there bowling arrangements that we probably could have done better? So right. they're the two areas that we've kind of looked at. Apart from that, look, we're pretty happy. Um, look, I made I made zero in that second innings, um, and they got seventy two. So mm. normally, you know, that should around about be a hundred, hundred and twenty. Um, Hopefully again, but uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, look, I, I don't think we'll fire off as much mm. as, as and I think it's in both both um, results. As much as they were thumpings, I think more so ours than yours. Our mm. look, our Joel Wojcik changed that game. Oh, look, he, he changed that game, he, and then he, from he, that moment, in the batting side, we couldn't wrestle that. In back. the batting department, wise, you did, yes, and then and momentum wise, momentum wise, well. yeah, and all and all our like we have some good, really good bowlers, and we just took charge and, and yeah. through us, you know, like that was a great. You know what it's like when you get your tail up, your tail up, you go, you know, a shit situation, you get to a situation, you know, and every time we had a talk after reading things and stuff, like we just analyzed it, and there was no stress. Everyone had their say. What do you think, boys? Because we've got some very smart cricketers amongst us. You know, let's let's all hear it. Yeah. We take a little bit of piece out of this and a piece out of that, and we combine them together and and deliver the goods. It came through in the yeah. end. Um, yeah. Look, a dominant performance by both sides. We head into a uh, a crunch decider. All right, we'll take a look at the leading run scorers and leading wicket takers for the uh, series so far as we head into the third test. So we've got myself, uh, 102 runs, at averaging 34, high score 66. And then you've got a bit of a cluster here with Daniel Arnold gone. He's gone to um, he's gone to second in the in the run scoring chart. Sixty five runs at twenty one point six. Well, put it as well. He was very pissed off that he got out for thirty two, like yourself, thirty six. He was on the on on the way to scoring some. Yeah, but runs. I'm good. He's shit. Yeah, but he, he got out to shit Todd. Like Todd. Like I got out to good Harry. Yeah, Harry's good. Yeah, yeah, Harry's good. He's good bowler. You shouldn't be. Look, at the end of the day, you shouldn't be getting out to rubbish. Well, if you're better than what's getting well, served, yeah, you should be Scott Starr, I suppose. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Warney. Yeah, and shout Warnie. Out, thanks to Warney who uh, yeah. uh, labelled Todd uh, Scott, Scott Starr. <laughs> so, thanks, Warnie. Sorry about the catch. <laughs> Never mind the catch, bro. But Scott Starr is bowling and he got a mention. Yeah. So, Toddy immortalised the WCG the folklore forever. Toddy's a he, hero. He's the new king. <laughs> um, yeah, Joel Wojcik at 60 runs at 60, obviously, because he's only had the one bat. Um, and Juzzo and Gavin Merrifield are uh, four and five. Uh, Juzzo's made 45 at 15. Look, Juzzo he, and He's one player I've been very happy with. Juzzo and, and Gav, we are definitely what we are concerned about them in the sense where we need to watch them in that sense, you know what yeah. I mean? Because they are capable of scoring 30, 50, there's 80 between two of them. Well, they're the two, you know they're the two others like that the, have we, stood up. We, you know, as I say to the boys, you know, sometimes the boys say it's only about Brendan. I said, no, it's not. I said, there's, I said, you can pick loose three players and get away from us like that, yeah. and and where our attention is right on them too. Yeah. So and Juzzo, Gav, and George can pull it out of his ass too. So you know, look at the catch, the first one he got in the first test. I was on my way to hundred, but he pulls that shit out of his ass. But anyway, yeah, you haven't you know, let that one go, have you? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I was a super ball like a watermelon. Mm. <laughs> It's just what we do at Brenda's level. We just take mm. screamers. Yeah, you do. There's it's, it's actually it's good. fair, fair. It's uh, good. Sorry, we didn't mention um, Daniel Arnold's catch uh, in that well, second test as, match. As a lot he's, of the, he's 49 years old, the oldest yeah. bloke on the park. Well, actually, no, a move like that. He's been 49 for five years, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, <laughs> there needs to be an investigation. Yeah, we're gonna, we, he won't show us his licence, but anyway, it doesn't matter. He's a fit, probably, he's a fit young he's, man. He's still. probably... <laughs> he's probably uh, an illegal immigrant who's yeah. uh, overstated his visa. <laughs> I'm 49. Guy's 65. But he's, I like the comment on one of them, this, um, so I can't remember who it said it. It was, um, Matt's going to have to re uh, take ages, uh, Matt's going to take ages to repair that divot um, that he. Was that for him? I thought it was yeah, for me because. No, I, was, I thought it was for him with the catch he did off Rabi. Oh, maybe. Yeah. yeah. It would, though. Yeah. The big man. <laughs> oh, the big imagine man. that landing on it. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, back to Brook. Brooksy, he's been good. Rids bat and ball. Yeah, look, he's been unlucky Rids too. bat and ball, because... Well, he, he got cleaned up by a pearl by Nathan, but unfortunately it was a no ball. And even, and even, mm. even then I asked him about it, he goes, mate, fucking dear. He goes, well, that's just crazy stuff. Like, you know, yeah. like... Yeah. It's, it's hooping. Yeah. It's hooping. So... Oh, no, no phone calls during the press conference. 
that just made your commitments? Who was it? Channel 7? No. Channel 9? No. Fox Sports? <laughs> Fox Sports, no. Um, I'll talk about unlucky bowlers. Gavin Merrifield, he also has zero wickets for the, the series. Well, Gavin bowls a great So many he misses. And what I've noticed from Gavin, we've talked about it, he's cutting the ball now. He's actually cut, bringing it back into you. And yeah. He, yes, and he, obviously I can see him rolling the fingers. Mm. So you taught him that at training. Like, oh, he's no, I taught him. He's, 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 he's always bowled it. Yeah, he's picked it up, but he's going, you he's, actually see him flicking the ball been now. One of the most, he has been yeah. the consistent most unlucky like bowler in WCT you know, like, for yeah, years. 100%. Like he was, he was, he was, the, other, the last test he was bowling really well. So, And hopefully that continues. Mm. Leading wicket takers, myself and Pasterfield are on five each. It's an absolute <laughs> miracle, but that's a fact. And then you've got a log jam behind that. Matt White for, Harry Dean for, Justin Brook for, George Paneras for, Henry Perinara for, Josh Bowling for. Um, well, so, put it this way, it's half and half basically. So one team, well, one of the one of us, or a couple of us, are going to be up the front. And, and, yeah, yeah. So whoever wins, well, look, whoever in that, wins basically we'll this say test. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. We've got five. We've got five. And you've got, got three. three. Yeah. So. That's a lot. That's a lot more spread there. Whereas in the runs, we've got three, and you've got two in that two. top five. Yeah. So it, you know your runs are a bit more spread, and ours um, a bit more reliant on two on three players. But um, yeah, it's look mention that special mention to Harry Dean as well in that second test match. He bowled, I think he bowled five overs, or mm. maybe he was into his sixth over. Yeah, he took match figures of two for none. Yeah, he bowled two for none. He's actually he's overs. worked it out. Yeah, we were talking about it the other day. He's like, he goes, the run ups are difficult because of the way the angle of the pitch. He goes, you just have to sort of work it out, play a little while, and he's he's. He goes, I don't, I'm not bowling as fast as I normally am, just developing a nice rhythm, and he's, he's bowling really he's bowling Still really going well. down pretty quick. Mm. Oh, yeah, 100%. Mm. All right, so that'll take us to the end of the podcast where we're going to go through the video comments that were uh, that were written by you guys um, about, the, uh, about the videos that were released. So the first YouTube comment was from Paul... Oh, get yourself a beer first, yeah, mate. Yeah, a beer, mate. Yeah. Because you know I'm about the comedy, so... Yeah, I, I haven't even... I haven't yeah. had time, mate. I've just been busy. Uh, well, I'm going to cough Let's go. I want to hear All it. right, so the first one is uh, pretty neutral from Paul N. Uh, Wojcik has a great technique for this format, for this format of the game. Gilchrist-like innings to turn the test on its head. Well, that's Which exactly you, that's exactly what we were... I knew, I knew he could bat, and I couldn't remember how he batted and played for so long. But then as soon as he comes out, and, and the first thing... That I thought about was it's a Gilchrist, and he's going. Well, we're going to keep him there. Do we get compensation for that mid mid series trade? No, because he wasn't playing. Compensation for what? What are you going to get? Minus five. <laughs> <laughs> for that, for, the, for, the, for context with that. No, no, no. Joel was originally. No, no. Joel maybe maybe going to get. No, you let me talk. Maybe. Let me talk. Maybe. Let me talk. That's right. Joel was going to come into Brennan's eleven squatters between <laughs> himself and Perinara, Henry Perinara, Henry Perinara. Was passed, well, was available for the first test only a couple of days out. So I chose Henry over Joel. Um, then, no problem, mate. No so mind. then we win that test match. Unfortunately, Henry goes back to New Zealand uh, for personal reasons. And by that time, Joel had already been drafted into Matt's 11 squad. Uh, prior to that happening. Because so, we had to have uh, fill in a play. Because yeah. play uh, actually. One player from the squad and our reserve went away on the holidays. So yeah, we we're actually one short. So just even up the sides, and sure enough, it's even up the sides. Well, actually, he's not coming back either. I'll just say you. Who, Joel? No, no, good. No, he's not coming back. Doesn't want to party, you know. Good. Just wants to, wants to Joel's not out. coming back to the WCG. Fuck no, you. no, he's coming to WCG, but not your team. So thanks for that comment, Paul. Then, uh, yeah, Gilchrist like hundred yeah. percent. It just changed. It did. It changed the game. Yeah. Uh, you get him out cheaply. It's seven for fifty. One hundred percent. If and then by the time he got out. Um, he just gave the impetus for for, for Steps and um, for Hamid to do their thing. That's right, so, exactly. Yeah, Gilchrist like 100%. Next uh, is from Muhammad Irfan, a big Mats 11 fan. Finally, we won. Great performance by everyone, batting, bowling and fielding wise. Now we can dream of clinching the series. What was that at the end by Scott? Hilarious. What he's referring to there at the end was... Your shot. The, no, the juggling. Oh, I'm pretty sure oh, it was the juggling. Or your shot. No, we'll, we'll take both of them. It was in the final video. Yeah, oh, actually, yeah. no, that was both in the final video. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, well, slashed wide outside the off stump. Nerves might have got to me. That's fair enough. Um, 
I think he might be referring to the fact that I ended up juggling that ball, but we'll get to that. Uh, was a great performance, batting, bowling and fielding from your side. Now we can dream of clinching the series. Will the Brenners of Living Dynasty, will you fulfil the Muhammad Irfan prophecy and will the Green Machine well, lift this on Saturday at about 4pm? Well, Muhammad, first of all, thank you for your support, mate. Much appreciated. Uh, we're not dreaming about it, mate. We're going to make it a reality. So oh, we, are, here we, we, are ready to, we are ready to go. Um, going to go and have a couple of beers tomorrow and go home early and ready to go on Saturday, let me tell you. So. Well, guess who's burning down the WCG if you guys get hammered again? Well, who's that? You're, you're fans. Oh, I'm not fans going to lead the charge. <laughs> but yeah, you um, promised him. You, Scott, hilarious. Yeah, you we, promised him a victory. Yeah, what happens if he's getting clapped no, again? Right. I said 2 1 right from the start. That's though. all right, but you promised him a victory. Well, yeah, no so if it doesn't no happen, problem, mate. they're not, they're not going to be happy. Well, you know, they come down your burn your ass down first. <laughs> finally, we won. Exactly. Finally, we won. You not won finally, mate. It's all right. It's all good. Hey, We've got this under control. All right, next comment is from Rob Sherwin, long-time fan of the show. Hope you're doing well, Rob. Uh, I'm paraphrasing here. I've had to, it's a big comment. So, um, Mats 11 have found their opener in Daniel Arnold. Great tone set up and deserve to get the uh, the winning runs. Well, 100%. And, yeah, and as I said to you before, he wants to do it. So, someone that wants to open is, yeah. is, is your best choice. Yeah, he was good. He was very good. And that, that's... That's another positive heading yeah. into his third and final test match, Dev. You know, it's about kind Someone's of taking ready to take you on, mate. Like I'm ready to go. Like you know, look, opening is not an easy job. It's like especially in the backyard. I know I make it look easy, no, but, but it's not an easy know, job. It's not, easy. it's not an easy job. No, of course. Like, well, in general, in cricket, of course. Easy, I mean, in cricket in general, but it's not. It's not. It's even harder. You haven't had any chance to have a look at what's doing right. this, that. Exactly. So, yeah, of course it is, and, yeah. he, and he did well. Yeah. In ideal batting conditions, though. I will say, but look, it, you got to play what's in front of you. That's all right. Uh, the comment goes on to say, I hate to be critical, but I think Scott's captaincy and attitude at the end was subpar at best. It's tough losing, I totally get it, but as a captain, you mustn't show your disappointment. You've got to keep the boys believing you can win. Well, 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 well okay. That's a miss there. That's yeah, a miss. Well, okay, first thing I'll say, you should have seen what happened about three hours later when uh, one of our mates has a classic saying, 10 on the last. And... Brandon, so you're really laying the boot in here, aren't Brandon, you? Brandon actually put 10 on number 9. Not yeah, to come down a miserable day. Yeah. I, uh, Man, you should have seen the... I, 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 seen might, have been, I might have been uh, a wee bit inebriated. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> so we, we've got inside, watched the race. The last at Ascot, 10 in the last. Yeah. Pikey gets home. Mm. You beauty, yeah, yeah, the boys. 450, had 50 on yeah. it, no problem. Get outside to check the winnings. Oh, no. Yeah, number it, nine. I put it on the wrong horse. Number nine. Absolute goose. Oh no! And everyone just paid out. It was a, it was a classic moment. Trust me. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Okay. So we keep on going. Back on door. Back door. Not long after that. <laughs> Bad night. Um, yeah. Look. It, uh, you can be critical. That's fair enough. But look, out of respect to what the pitches are like now at the WCG, it's not what it used to be. You're not defending seventeen. It's, it's a whole You're no. not not with their lineup. Not with our, even our, even as as fragile as our lineup could be at times, and as you guys have shown as well, mm. you're not defending. Well, look, so look, if everyone if everyone if everyone was actually to score, have a good batting innings, well, we we've even talked about this. If people can put it all on and go through an, on an average, we can score it to two hundred to two fifty. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, and like we talked about this, and we we believe that we can do this. You almost, it almost would have been beneficial for us to get beaten by innings, so we didn't have to come out for that little period. Yeah. And, and, and just really, and actually, that was probably good for you, and it, and, and it just further ramped home. It does. The and, and your disappointment, and seeing your disappointment out there, and you drop that catch and just go, oh, well, what's the point anyway? So yeah. there you go. And all the boys just behind me mm. just go, yeah. that's it. Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was good. Hey, it was good to be on the receiving end of that for once. It's been too long. We get again nothing. That doesn't mean anything anymore. It's all about the next game. It true. And another long-term fan of ours, uh, Belonga thirteen. Shot selection from Brook, Paneros, and Merrifield was atrocious. Um, I will preface that by saying that's what we took. That's one of the things we talked about at training. Um, no, look, atrocious. It was just no, all well, just the wrong. Our, wrong our eyes lit up, wrong and times. we didn't execute. Oh, look, I'm happy to say, look, go for the shots. Go for the shots. You have to go for the shots. You've, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to be good enough to. It's one of those. It's one of those ones where he's right because they will look back and go, yeah. Yeah, you know what? That was that was shit. Yeah. Um, but uh, the the comment <laughs> then goes on to say, also Scott gave up at the end with that drop catch and the winning single. Not what you expect from a captain. 
obviously not used to, uh, used to losing, but sometimes you have to accept being beaten by a better side. Well, yeah, they were not a better side, on. mate. Hang on. Okay. Hang on, One mate. innings. We, we, One we, innings. We smashed them all around the park eventually. I'll, I'll through that. But actually, no, Bratton has never been beaten by 10 wickets uh, because he's always had me on the leaves. And, and then I'm the only one to actually beat Brandon through the last, in, in a test series. So it's been a long, long while since it's been a long while since you tasted defeat. So it look, was not that long. Like, I'm, a, I'm a fine loser. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't worry, hey. Uh, they were at my the Brendan's Eleven Faithful were at my four million dollar mansion in Vaucluse the other day. Oh, burning yeah, effigies, break. burning effigies yeah. at the front. They were not happy. Yeah. Trust me, the Brendan's Eleven Faithful <laughs> were not happy. There were signs. <laughs> there were signs. Brendan out, Scott out, go. Yeah. Um, threats against my family, you know, it's just... Oh, look, I, I, uh, I think someone they are not happy. Go, they got any chance of no, winning. Yeah, look, the fans are just not used to losing. Well, and that's fair enough. Well, that's fine, but, you know, look... They demand success for Brenner's Eleven oh, all the time. Know, and it's so, a tough gig. Yeah, and, and trust me... And you when know, you go down like that, and look, to be fair, I'll apologise to the Brenner's Eleven faithful. It did... It, what might have appeared like I didn't care or a bit lackadaisical, look, if that was the image I gave off, then... So what happens... So what happens... But that was not... Look, you're not... You're not. If you're going through the motions when you're defending seventeen, it's just. So what are they going to what, what are they going to do when you um, lose two one? Like I predicted, like what they're going to just tear their house down. They're going to demand demand I'll, your resignation. I'll be dead. I'll be okay. dead. Okay. Well, so who's going to take over? Uh, uh Todd. Todd would be good. That'd be great. <laughs> so it's Scott Doris, mate. Well, the good vice. Player. The Scott vice. Hey, you'll be playing Ravi's eleven next year because the vice captain oh, obviously Ravi's takes it. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> it could be a long <laughs> dynasty for for the green machine. But uh, look, okay. you better hope. Well, I think you better hope that these comments because I will tell you what. If you don't end up winning that decider, I'll be chopping this little segment yeah, up. You can chop it up, mate. You can chop it up. But look, I'm, I'm confident chopping in what my head team. Off, mate. Can, I'm confident in what my team has, has to offer, and and we all want to do and it. As are I. We all want to do it, mate. Badly. You got no idea. Yeah, that la that last bit at the end was just. It, look, I was just panning around with. It. I didn't mean for it to it hit my sh I went well, shot. Went up you, like I thought I was Maradona, but I'm not. Well, you took about Yeah, and. Why didn't you do a backflip and catch him with your boot? Like, you know, but, then, then no, Coco was a, a, a prick for taking that single. He deserved to hit a boundary to win it. No, no. He sneaks no, a little yeah, bitch well, out single there. Yeah, because you misfielded there. That was perfect finish. Oh, you say it, right? Don't you do it? Don't yeah, you do it? He's done he it. He did Thanks, it. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Compounding the humiliation. Well done, mate. Well done, Coco. Well, your work, mate. So, look, that'll end the podcast for, for this episode. We are on the horizon of one of our biggest matches in WCG history. It's all for this bad boy. Um... On Saturday, the weather looks like it's clearing up. It looks like we're going to get a result. Well, Ideal conditions, not too hot. There's no, there's, look, there's no forecast of rain. If it is, a slight shower, mm. which would nothing to do nothing. But only around 22 degrees, which is perfect drinking and cricket weather. So, uh, yeah. yeah, we'll we'll probably get this. This will probably come out on Friday for those of you. I don't know where you're watching around the world, but if you're in Australia, this is getting filmed at what's the time now? About 6:30. 6:30 p.m. on Thursday night. I'll probably I'll probably end up releasing it tomorrow. Um, and it'll be a nice little viewing um, experience for you before the before the third test. We'll, I'll try and uh, we'll make sure that we're getting a, a bit more content on Instagram stories, just to give you just to keep you engaged throughout the day. Um, forgive us because of the restrictions that have happened in the last two test matches. We haven't been able to get our you know Clinton, uh, Clinton, normal stuff. That Clinton essentially do. paid the the second test match in order to get him there so we can film. He does a lot well, of that's other not filming. Well, that's just facts. Well, he knows that. Everyone knows well, that. You know, that's, um, that's not nice. No, I'm not putting the boot in there. It wasn't his fault we lost. It's not his fault we <laughs> lost. We lost because of my complacency no, and Joel James. Okay. That's what we lost. Complacency. It's just, you know, like, look, mate, Donald Bradman was a great player, but anyone can fail. I was complacent. I got fucking oh, fucking We'll see how complacent you are. Don't worry. The, the great man will stand up. I promise you, yeah. Blue's faithful. The great man will stand up, mark my words, and we'll be lifting this We're crown. We've got a special prize we'll, for we'll you, We'll be lifting this crown. We've got a special surprise for you, what? Well, right. No, you'll see. Bro. I'll still smack you'll him around anyway. You'll see, mate. All right, guys, that ends this episode of the podcast. To the victor go the spoils on Saturday. The next podcast will be... Oh, he's jinxed it. You've touched it. No, no. Uh, the next podcast will be a... Uh, will be well, one of us. No, will be one of us who's... Yeah, it will be a yeah. series recap. And one of us... We'll, we'll have that trophy on that side. One of us so. will be very happy and one of us won't be. Uh, until then, wish us luck on Saturday. We'll see you then. Thanks for the support, guys. Much better.